In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure a 24-port managed switch from CCTV Camera World. These switches come with a default IP address of 192.168.1.110. If you have trouble finding it on your network, you can always use the config tool. The 24-port switches do show up in the config tool. So first, I'm going to log in. We've already set up the username and password on this switch. However, you may be prompted when you log in if you use the admin admin password to change it to a secure password. We recommend you set it to our password just to keep all of your equipment uniform and so you don't lock yourself out of the switch. So here you can see it gives us a status page when we first log in. There's a second tab called system info. and In the system info tab we can go ahead and set the current time by clicking the current time tab. Here we can see it's set to sometime in 2000, which it happens to be 2020 today. So I'm going to click the sync PC button. It's going to sync the time with my PC. As you can see, it's January 1st of 2020. And then I can, of course, set my time zone. I just so happen to be in the Eastern Standard Time Zone, which is GMT minus 5. I want to click save so I can save the time settings on my network switch. And then secondly, I can go under the network configuration page to change this to a different IP address if I need to. In this example, I'm going to leave it as 110 because 110 is open on my network and I'm going to host all of my cameras from 110 onward. I could also go in here to change the administrator password in the future if I ever needed to or restore all of those settings to default. In here, there are some other settings. For example, on here we have link settings where we can set a description for each of the ports. And here we can see the statistics for each port. And finally, down at the bottom, we see long distance PoE. And this is for CCTV Camera World's long distance PoE cameras that support them. And you would, of course, for one of those cameras, come down here and click enable and then save for that channel. Now note, the note at the top says this will drop the connection speed from 100 megabits to 10 megabits. So for higher resolution cameras like a 12 megapixel or 4K camera, you may want to pay attention to the bit rate that the camera is using and keep it well below the 10 megabit per second uh, bit rate so that you do not run into issues with lost packets or other errors that would be caused by slow network speeds. Finally, under Device Manager, there's going to be a whole lot of other settings. However, you're going to want to leave these settings alone if you do not understand what those settings do because it's very easy to set the wrong setting and then make it difficult to use the PoE switch in a proper manner. Last but not least, we can go under PoE into the PoE setting. We can see it, the total power available, the available power, which happens to be the power that is available, and then the overload power, which happens to be the peak amount of power, again, relating to the total amount of power available on our PoE switch. And then last but not least, we can disable or enable any PoE ports on the PoE switch. Let's say we are connecting a DVR or recorder to our PoE switch or another device that does not require PoE power, such as a laptop or computer. Then for that port, you would want to come into these settings and toggle that to disable and then again click the save button at the bottom and again you'll find some other settings here but as we mentioned before if it's a setting you do not understand we do not recommend you playing with that setting because again you can break something or make the PoE switch not work the way you want it to hopefully this video helps and gives you a brief overview of the 24 port PoE switch from CCTV Camera World thank you for watching